Hey guys, it is Liberty here from Spirit Move Ministries. I am recording this on the road. <clears throat> okay, originally on the way to the airport. <clears throat> so, there's always a situation. I had it all planned out. I'm about to release a word. Hang tight, people, okay? Um, I had it all situated that I was going to get on here and be like, yeah, I'm on my way to the airport. It's going to be marvelous because now that I've agreed to move to Florida, I will not be held hostage here. I talked about that uh, Saturday night in our final meeting. But um, here's the situation. <sighs> 10 minutes after I told my assistant, uh, I'm gonna get on and record this word because I have to record this word. And I'm gonna tell everybody how, wow, look at there. I actually get to go home the day that I had it planned to leave Florida, okay? You guys, I know I'm bouncing around a lot. There's nothing I can tell you. It's the Florida roads. Just hang tight, okay? Um, 10 minutes after I said that, and I said, hey, I'm gonna just record a word while we're traveling. We get an alert that my flight has been delayed. Yep. I literally had no words and I'm like Jesus why am I being held hostage in Florida when you already know that I'm moving here okay so here's the situation my flight has been delayed I might not be leaving today we don't know if I'm ever leaving okay I'm just kidding I love you Florida and eventually I am going to be stuck here and I will not be being held hostage. But right now, it would be amazing if I could like have a plan every now and then and actually be able to do it. So here's the thing. I might still be here. Then, two minutes after we get the alert that my flight's been delayed until later tonight, evidently there's something going on. Um... I get a text from a very good apostle friend of mine here in Florida and they have no clue what's going on and they say hey um, are you gonna be here on Friday <gasps> no <laughs> I am NOT gonna be here on Friday y'all I am headed back somewhere at some point um, I was like why and he was like well we're gonna do this big old meeting with a bunch of uh, revival pastors and um, leaders and um, people who are uh, lead pastors of a bunch of different churches and we're gonna have a meeting with um, uh, somebody okay I'm not gonna say who because that's not public meeting with somebody um, and I want you to be there. If you can be there, I would love for you to be there. I want you to meet them. I want you to meet all the lead pastors of all the churches that are going to be represented and the ministries that are going to be represented. I would like them to know who you are and let them know you're coming to Florida. And I'm just like, honestly, that would be amazing and beautiful. And I would love to be at that meeting. But it's not till Friday and I thought I was leaving. I do need to be in Houston on the 3rd, so I do have a slight schedule, you guys. So um, here's the thing. Florida, you guys crack me up, and um, I honestly don't know. I might still be here. At this point, I don't even know what's going to happen, but um, I, don't even, I don't have words at this point. All I've got is huge laughing laughs, okay? Anyway, okay. Moving along, let me get to the word I'm about to release, okay? Um, as you know, if you follow me at all on regular social media, I had posted a word on there about the spring cleaning, how there's been so much cleansing happening in the body of Christ, but we're coming into, there's, we're, we're not in spring yet, you guys, and there's still more cleansing coming that God is planning to do, um, and it's not maybe going to be as high level as what we've been dealing with, but it's going to be um, necessary. And so you'll understand what I mean by high level here in just a minute. And so what I had released on social media was that there's, gonna, there's still a clearing out that he needs to do, almost like a leveling off. 
and he has to do that sometimes for preparation. And so, um, based on me releasing that word, then he gave me a dream, um, a, another dream that has to do with the cleansing. And so, I basically was like, okay, you know, I sit on dreams because I'm going to wait until it's the moment that he wants me to release it. And so, um, I had just talked to him yesterday. I was like, okay, Lord, I have not been um, to where I can record a word. What are you saying to your people right now? What is, what, what's my next, you know, what do you need me to say to them? Times and seasons. And um, then I had a dream last night. And so that sealed the deal. And I knew I was going to have to record this word on the road today to the airport that now I don't need to go to because my flight's been delayed. Okay. Um, but uh, it sealed for what I, you know, the deal on what I need to talk about today. So basically he had given me that word and I released it on social media. Then he gave me a dream, another haircut dream where I was getting a haircut and I'm going to go into a little more detail than you probably care about right now, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Okay. I have stick straight hair. So when I get my hair layered, they have to like fray the ends and like they can't do a blunt cut because it, it won't it won't look right when it lays because my hair is so straight and so um, in the dream uh, my girl was trimming my hair and she was doing the fray look you know like chopping every other hair so that it would blend well my layers would blend well well there was all these little longer wispy pieces which is what normally she would need to do because my hair it will not do right if she doesn't do that and in the dream, I looked at her and I saw all the little wispies and I said, hey, just give me a blunt cut. Okay, that was the first dream. And then boom, she gave me a blunt cut and then the dream was over. Then I had had the word about the spring cleaning and I released that without, a, without the dream. And then the Lord gave me another dream last night. Now, the dream I had last night was um, I was just sitting there and someone came up to me and they basically were going to file my nails, you know, like get my nails done. I did not see the person. All I know is they came up and uh, they pulled out um, like four pure white nail filing filers. And um, they were, I was going to get my nails filed. And so um, then the dream just ended right as they were about to do my nails. And so... I was like, okay, you know, um, that's very clear, you guys. I mean, there's lots of different meanings you could get out of that. Um, but when I woke up and I had that dream, I was like, okay, Jesus, you need me to release a word today about the pruning, the clearing out, the spring cleaning, the cleansing you're still doing, um, the choppity chop, basically. And he said, yes. He said, this is the season that we're still in. And he said, tell my people, basically you need to keep preparing for spring cleaning because he has still so much work that he's doing. Um, I think it's going to be mild though, because in the haircut dream, it was very mild. And so it was just little wispies that needed to have a blunt cut or I wanted them to have a blunt cut. And so, um, the Lord said, just keep paying attention to what he's doing. Um, I love spring cleaning. I love spring cleaning, rearranging, getting rid of stuff, you know, replacing things, um, redoing something or whatever. And so, so does Jesus. He likes that also. So he needs us to be aware that as we go forward up levels, like even with us, with this move, everyone that's moving has already been like, we're having yard sales. We're getting rid of stuff. We're not taking it with us to Florida. And, and so that's like the clearing out. Amen. It's necessary, you guys. It's necessary. And in the word that I had released on social media was that those things have to be cleared out so that new things can spring up. If you don't clear out the old things that God needs you to get rid of or stop doing or do them differently... Um, and they, they can't get moved out of his way. And so the new things can't spring up when there's things in the way. So it's kind of like 
planting a seed in the ground and then placing a block on it to where it can never find its way out of the soil. And so to be able to grow and become what it's supposed to. And so there's a lot going on right now, you guys. Be paying attention and be joyful about the cleansing and also look forward to what he wants to spring up in the middle of everything. Um, spring is an awesome time, amen? It's an awesome time of new beginnings. We know this resurrection, uh, celebrating the resurrection of Christ, uh, the power that is now alive on the earth in us. And so there's things that have to go though. So Jesus had to die and go in the tomb and then to, he had to empty the tomb basically. The tomb can't be emptied without a death. The clearing, the spring cleaning in, is going to involve the, the removal of things. Sometimes it's old ways of thinking, old ways of doing things. Maybe things we've done in a pattern for years in ministry and God's like, hey, that's become religion. Let's cut that off and let's get you moving in the spirit. Bye bye religion. And so um, it's not the easiest to change those patterns, but the Lord is saying this is the season that his people are in because if we don't get ready, we're not going to be ready. We're not going to be ready to bring in the harvest, you guys, the end time harvest. We're not going to be ready. We're, we're not going to be ready. It, it's literally that simple. I don't even know how to put it in any other words. If we're not ready, we ain't going to be ready. If we don't get ready, okay? So um, let him do a blunt cut. There's some blunt cuts coming. It was just a little trim, but it was so necessary. And there's some nails that need filed. And you know, um, in dream interpretation, if you do dream interpretation at all, you immediately already knew where I was going with it as soon as I told you the dreams. But the reality is, is you get your nails filed so they look nicer and smoother. It's like, um, you know, being well kept or looking healthy. Well, those are all connected to what God's trying to say. And he's so hilarious um, that how he gives me the dreams to just make it clear his message he's trying to say. So here's the thing. We have to let him do what he needs to do. We have to Go sit down, even you guys, yep, go get a manicure, not for real. I'm just kidding, you know what I'm saying. Go sit in front of the nail file, Jesus, and let him file your nails, let him blunt cut the things that need to go, um, the wispy ends, the jaggedy ends. Um, it's all a part of what he's doing right now because we can't take it with us, you guys, the same way this was so dramatic that I had the flood at my house during Christmas and it ruined all my stuff. I don't have any furniture to bring to Florida. So um, I'm literally starting over fresh with like having to go shop and buy furniture and get stuff for my house, like for real. So, um, but I'll tell you this, there's something amazing about though. It actually felt really good. <laughs> That's a whole nother discussion. But um, the thing is, is it, it might not always feel good when the pruning is happening, but you need to know it's worth it, you guys. It's worth it. New fruit cannot spring up and grow unless the pruning, amen? You guys, I got a whole lot of sun in my face over here. Unless the pruning comes. And so the pruning continues He's done some of the heavy stuff already, and then it's gonna get lighter and lighter. So in the dream, it was just a trim, but it still needed a blunt cut. In the dream, it was just nails being filed to smooth them out a little bit, to, so they look healthy. And so it wasn't like dramatic, it was little things. So be paying attention to little things, you guys. I don't know how much more I can, sorry, my child is calling me. Okay, um, always my child. Okay. I have it on speaker. 
Sorry, you guys. You guys get to be in the middle of my stuff. You guys just know I'm real, okay? I, you don't have a real life. My children call me. It's always my youngest, Daniel. He's a little turkey waddle every now and then. And then, then he'll text me five times. Okay. Um, like he just did. Okay. I'm ignoring it. You guys, here's the thing. We're still... We're still in spring cleaning, okay? And um, let him do it. Don't be afraid. Let him get rid of the dead things, even if it's dead things in our heart. It's unforgiveness. It's bitterness. It's um, fear. It's pain that was caused to us by someone else. Whatever it is, let him take it away so that there's room for whatever else he has for you. And it's just like with me, I don't know why I'm supposed to come to Florida without none of my stuff. I mean, I have my clothes and like my personal things. Um, pictures of my, my sons and all that stuff. But you guys know what I mean. All my furniture was destroyed in the flood. So um, why I needed to come to Florida without none of that, I don't know, but that's how it is. And so we need to let him do what he needs to do in this season. These are the seasons that we're in and the body of Christ has to submit to the seasons you guys because if we don't it is going to hinder the new growth it's going to block the seed from springing up which is the word that i released we have to let it spring up amen i want spring to spring up i want whatever he wants to spring up to spring up um i want to make room for that now you're probably thinking well you know but i don't want to be hurt again or um I don't know, you know, I lost that job and it was painful and, you know, maybe you would have had a different reaction than I did to the flooding. Um, I just laughed at the whole thing. I was like, oh my goodness, a flood? You know, that's a little much, Jesus. But the thing is, I'm a different kind of person. This is where I'm at. So, um, it takes a lot to get to me. So, um, let him do what he needs to do so that you can have a new beginning this spring and for your personal life, but also for your call, for the anointing, for the ministry that you might be a part of or are gonna be called to be a part of. Because new growth, even in ministry, or the anointing going to another level does not come without removal of old things. And people sometimes. It doesn't always feel good, you guys, but it's necessary because God knows what's best for us. And so, why I needed to come to Florida without none of my stuff, I don't know. But I trust Jesus. And um, evidently, me not having none of that is making room for something else. I'll figure it out. He'll tell me when he feels like telling me. Uh, he, you know, probably in a dream, because that's just what he does. But um, you guys, enjoy the seasons that we're in. And you know from the very beginning, I've been prophesying since 2019, that God has to deal with the body of Christ first. We're the carriers of revival. We are revival. If we're not pure and holy, we can't be carriers of it to take it to a dying world. And so this is the process. We're, being, we're slowly being taken through processes of cleansing, removal of dead things, religion, complacency, all that has to go bye-bye so that um, we can be revival. If we're dead, okay, here's the example I used to tell um, my teenagers because, yes, I was like super even more sassy with them. But an example I would tell them because these are ways that I could get through to them. If you're on the floor, you know, that what was that song, the dead man um, lying on the carpet, blah, 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 blah. You guys remember, okay, you should know if you've been a Christian a long time. Okay, so um, I would tell the youth, hey if you're the dead man lying on the carpet and jesus has to keep coming and reviving you and doing you know whatever cpr on you how can you do cpr on someone else that's dying that doesn't have christ if you're constantly needing cpr and so he clears things out so we don't always need cpr we're supposed to go save get those saved that don't know Christ that are dying. How can we reach souls if we are constantly having to revive ourselves? 
And I'm not saying don't get refueled, you know, refueled, don't get refreshed, don't go to Pentecostal services, don't get impartation of fire. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is if you live dead, then all your efforts are going to be put into keeping yourself alive. Self-preservation. That's not the call of the body of Christ. We're carriers of revival. We're carriers of the glory. And so if you're always having to fight to keep your own self alive because you're like a victim or something of your circumstances all the time, then God can't use you to save somebody else and go give them CPR. And so the pruning and the clearing out and the leveling off makes room so we he can get rid of the dead things and sometimes it's rejection in our heart pain we've suffered from somebody unforgiveness bitterness um that's going to be in the way for something new god has for you and mm -hmm. whatever it is sorry we're in florida traffic that's all i got to say we're going to learn this traffic we figured out a couple things uh, this is just a side note florida when the light's green just drive that's counsel from Apostle Liberty from Spirit Move Ministries. Drive when the light's green. Please, just drive. Okay, so um, here's the thing, you guys. I'm going to pray for you right now, and I'm going to close this up. Um, go into this season with joy, not fear. Um, let the things go that have to go. Let him flood you. Let him clear out the way so that the new things can spring up, the new seeds can spring up, and uh, you can have those new things starting off at Easter, you guys, not having to wait another whole season. Let the dead things go. Don't need CPR. You have to be able to go give other people CPR that don't know Christ. Amen? And so, you can't be the dead man lying on the carpet. We got to get rid of the dead stuff. Amen? Okay, so let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just praise you and I glorify you and I lift up every person at the sound of my voice. And Lord, we say right now, we declare, we will allow the blunt cut. We will allow you to come and file down the rough places, Lord. We will allow you to clear and, and uh, prune and cut so that there can be a way for the new seeds to spring forth. The new things you have for us that you want us to launch into from resurrection season and on into so that we can begin to fill the, fulfill them in the summer with the summer fruit, amen. We're gonna be carriers of that fruit, Lord. Do what you gotta do. Get rid of the dead things in us. Get rid of the dead things in our family. Get rid of the dead things in our ministries. Get rid of the things that are sucking life out of us so we can't go give CPR to a dying world. Get rid of those things, King of Glory. We offer them to you as a, as a fragrant sacrifice to be thrown into the fire. Take the dead things so that we can make room. We say to you, King of Glory, we will make room for the new things. We will make room. We will make room for the new things to spring up this spring, 2023. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys are awesome. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing now. Um, we're driving somewhere but not to the airport because my flight was delayed and uh, I might still be here. I don't even know. Anyway, uh, I love you guys. Have an amazing, amazing day. And some of you I will see in Houston, the third through the fifth at Sweetwater Church. I will be doing a revival there. You do not want to miss that time with the Lord. It's going to be amazing. And um, you guys, I have too much stuff happening in Florida to even announce it. I will see all you Florida people. I don't even know. I don't know if I'm ever leaving. Okay. I love you guys. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.